Now, have you ever wondered what's inside a gas meter? Well, wonder no more, because using my angle grinder, I'm going to cut these two meters open and find out exactly what's inside them. So this is a cubic meter uh, gas meter from 2005 and this is a cubic foot gas meter from 1977. So I'm going to get them open and see what the difference is and see how they progressed. So let's get on with it. Now before we get started I always remember the PPE and because this gas meter did hold gas at one point always make sure it's been well ventilated and the room's well ventilated because we don't want it blowing up this probably hasn't had gas going through it for about well, at least a year so hopefully we don't get any explosions but just be aware of that so don't try this at home especially if it's connected to your gas anyway let's get on with it So, I've got it open. Okay, so I've just had to break the tabs off the side, which actually hold it together here to get this out. And you can now see the insides of a gas meter. So shall we have a look at this a bit more closely upstairs? Now I've taken it apart, let's actually see how it works. The diaphragm meter is a positive displacement flow meter, basically meaning it requires the gas to operate. It measures the volumatic flow of the gas through oscillating diaphragms contained in a series of chambers which gives a known volume. The diaphragms expand and contract with each gas inflow, triggering a counter mechanism, in our case which is an analogue mechanism, via a series of cranks attached to a crankshaft. The crankshaft is set into a rotary motion by interacting with the diaphragms and serve to drive the odometer counter, in turn turning the numbers which you get billed by. So let's try and show you actually working in real life so the main thing is it spins here and we've got the chambers here so when it spins you can see the chambers are moving so inside here is the diaphragm so this is holding the diaphragm in and these are the four chambers one two three four so as this moves you can see it blocks off two chambers and opens two other chambers Let's just show you how it works with the aid of my vacuum cleaner. So, this is where the gas comes out. So if we look at the top, so it's actually going to be installed that way around. So if I spin that around like that. So this is how it would be in the meter. You can see this here, this bit here, goes all the way in. So there is... A seal here which sits on this ring here so that is sealed and then this is open so this full chamber is full of gas when we activate it what will happen is the gas will get drawn into the chambers and it's mechanical and it's all working off differential pressures with the diaphragm so this vacuum cleaner is going to be like the gas coming out because it sucks so the gas is going to come out and it's going to move these. So let's have a look. So if I spin it round, 
We'll do it this side. You can actually see this spinning. You see that? And what that is connected to is this thing here. So if I spin it, you'll see the numbers will move. So that bit there is connected to there and that's how it moves the numbers on the front. It's as simple as that, but that's not simple at all, is it? Well, that's quite complicated. That's the action of the gas meter. So, we've seen in this one, let's have a look in this old one. What's that old saying? They don't make them like they used to do. Well, where gas meters are concerned, that's definitely true. I've literally had to grind it into pieces to be able to get it out. But there's not that much difference in this one than this one, except obvious that this is made of stainless steel. And I can't do my uh, trick with the vacuum cleaner because this is sealed to the bottom of there. So it, that won't work, but it still moves in exactly the same way. If you can see that, it's still exactly the same. And if I turn that round, you can see, hopefully, that the finger is going round. <laughs> There's not that much difference in it, except it's full of grease and oil. And uh, the only bits of plastic really are the chambers and this, these two rods, connecting rods. But that's what a gas meter from the 1970s looks like on the inside. Still got four chambers. It's the new ultrasonic meters now which are completely different. They don't have moving parts in them now. The gas comes in, goes through a filter and then goes through uh, this ultrasonic device. Which basically bounces ultrasound between two transducers. And depending how long it takes to get from one side to the other is how they actually measure how much gas has gone through this ultrasound meter. So there's no moving parts in the new ones. So that's my look at the inside of a very old gas meter from the 1970s. An old gas meter from 2005. So hopefully you've liked the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers guys.